Monument to Russian monarch Catherine the Great being dismantled in Odessa. Here's a summary of the article. The dismantling of a monument to Russian imperial monarch Catherine the Great in Odessa has begun, local news outlet Dumska reported on December 28. Workers are conducting preparations for the monument's eventual removal from its place at Katerininska Square in central Odessa. According to Dumska, this involves removing a recently erected sarcophagus meant to protect the statue from Russian shelling and attacks. In response, Zelensky stressed the importance of protecting national interests, specifically creating public spaces free from objects linked to Russian and Soviet imperial history, which still repeat Russian and anti-Ukrainian narratives. Odessa residents voted to demolish the status in an online poll on November 5, where a slim majority voted in favor of its removal. This decision was approved by Odessa City Council on November 30th. Odessa Mayor Gendia Trukhanov called for the monument to be later re-established in a park that would be dedicated to the city's history under Imperial Russian rule. This post received a score of 3,300, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Fun fact, Catherine the Great wasn't even Russian, she was 100% German. All royal families in Europe are related. The British royal family of the Windsors had to change their German family name too when WW1 exploded. Yes, but in Catherine's case, she literally grew up in Prussia as Sophie von Anhalt's Erbst. She only took up the name Catherine after conversion to Russian Orthodoxy for her marriage. Anhalt Zerbst was independent at the time the Seven Years and Sevna Weeks Wars Feta wired many bad decisions by smaller German states. Am I having a stroke? Aren't we all? Finishes typing. Resume stroking. Medvedev and Lavrov will soon call this a genocide and insist it is proof that peace is impossible. The effect of Russian-style propaganda is losing touch with reality, and identifying themselves with symbols, identifying the symbols with the government that uses them, the government? With the country, and the country with themselves. You cling to symbols because they are the only constant, and the only thing that feels real because of that. But by the very construct, your actions don't accomplish anything because the symbols exist independently of reality. Same goes for Russia's army, because once the reality is an afterthought, everything is lost. Since Russians chose to abandon reality, we need to help them become grounded in reality again. Applause emoji. Saved reply. This is a wonderful dissection. Over the next couple of years we'll see anything and everything that reminds Ukrainians of their past relations with Russian will cease to exist. About time. Blind ethnic hatred is not a good thing. Odessa's perspective. I have been growing up in a communal flat, one bathroom for five families, in a historical building facing the square that monument stands on. Except that wasn't the monument I saw growing up. The statue of Catherine specifically had to be recast in 2007 as the Soviets partially destroyed the monument when they dismantled it. In its place, the Soviets installed a monument to, who rebelled against the Tsar in 1905, when the battleship was stationed in Odessa, in the port facing the, the site for the moment as a five-minute walk from there. The monument to battleship Potemkin is distinct Ivy Soviet in style. That for me is most important. It would be nice for historical monuments to be sprinkled throughout the city, but the most important thing is that they are preserved. This one tells a fascinating story, and I would love to see this monument, the Soviet version, and the Potemkin monument side by side to tell the different parts of the story. Thank you for the excellent description of this monument, its history, and the controversy around Catherine, along with a superb summary of the Potemkin saga. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.